In this video, we're going to talk about the risk of trade signs of Tesla ARC. So, it's not like the other video where people are showing like a Tesla lead opening, which is a ARC, seriously. So, here it's involved different steps and script, and you're going to see all we could like spoof message from a TPMS sensor to display a TPMS alert which is as a human readable information a flat tire. So this video is for educational purpose only. You should not mess with somebody else's car. I did with mine and this channel do not promote or encourage any illegal activities. This video will be split into four sections. The first one, we are going to introduce the concept and tool being used. Then we will see like how to capture and generate the signal with demos. And in the conclusion, we are going to see the lesson learned. And I will also link a very interesting presentation about this whole protocol TPMS and hack that has been done by security researchers. So let's introduce the concept and tool being used in this experiment. So to sum up, basically we're going to capture signal sent from TPMS sensor. So if your car is pretty recent, you might have already noticed that you could like capture like information and read on your dashboard from your car about the pressure and temperature from each tire. Depending the make of your car and model, it could happen, yes, even temperature. So the idea here is to use a laptop with the SDR dongle and script to capture the identification of the TPMS sensor. Because yes, if you have like four tires, then you will have like four different sensors with different ID. And the ID here is to use a TPMS flipper application to generate the sub file so that file will be used to replay the information so basically when you have that file ready you will transfer it to your flipper zero using qflipper or even yeah the file explorer from your operating system and the sd card and from the flipper you will replay the signal capture and then on your car, the dashboard should like blink and display which tire is flat. So that's the main idea here. And now we're going to see the two couple of tool we're going to use. So now comes the tools. So I wanted to talk about them in couples. So the hardware uh, RTL SDR among with the RTL 433 and the Flipper Zero and TPMS uh, Flipper application. Let's start first with like the RTL SDR. So what it is here? So the RTL SDR, it's referred to um, software defined radio device which looks like here as a um, USB dongle. And this device basically uses a Realtek RTL 2832U chipset, which allow you to receive and decode radio signal. And it is really popular choice, um, and it's going to help us to capture and analyze here like 433 uh, megahertz uh, signal from the TPMS sensor. 
So it's going to be used here with this application, the RTL underscore 433. So this application basically here um, is um, a package that helps you to um, monitor and decode various wireless protocol and signal and it's using like um, SDA hardware so for that experiment I wanted to have like a pretty reliable and well-known um, dongle in the community so it is supported in many other projects that's why I like uh, I like it so you don't need to take a lot of time to compile it etc so here if I scroll a bit down it's an example uh, with that screenshot on what you could like get as an output and here it's really powerful because just by plug and play you could receive many um, information about let's say here in this situation uh, temperature humidity sensor so for people who have like forecast um, station you know where you plug like outside uh, a sensor or and inside you have like uh, the forecast and uh, type of like humidity etc here we go like the flipper zero I did a video uh, previously here we could have that with the RTL SDL and for like a bunch of like protocol it's pretty um, automatic here you have all the list so it could range from like yeah um, meteorological weather sensor up to some cars so here we are really interested into the cars tpms sensor so let's move on so the flipper zero is going to help us basically to replay the captured um, uh, signal from the TPMS sensor okay so we are going to use its ability with the double C 1101 uh, chipset to capture and transmit on the 433 megahertz and here especially because my TPMS sensor in that car was working on this uh, frequency and actually if I go to the main um, uh, project here that um, allows me to, to make this video is the TPMS uh, flipper um, project so from CSRM uh, 7L thanks to him here I just wanted you know not to reinvent the wheel but to actually get my hands on this code and just see plug and play what could I do so here basically I was able like to capture um, with the RTL SDR like um, the TPMS sensor ID and I was able to generate like some signal um, sub file for the flipper zero with this application and you could see it is not only um, running for Toyota but for all the cars like Citroen and Ford for instance so that's it for like the tools and we are going to see uh, a demo I'm in a car using a laptop with Kali distribution and the RTL is their USB dongle and I'm going to run RTL 433. Okay, at the same time, I'm going to start the car. And here you could see all the tires are popping up. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is to use the ID here, display, and generate with some 
Python toolbox, a file for the Flipper Zero. I have already cloned the TPMS repository and installed all the dependencies. So you get like an output and resource folder and the script TPMS helper. So we're going to run that one. I already have by execute permission on it. And here you select one of like the different TPMS type um, protocol that the developer have already worked on. So if let's say we select the PMV dash 107J and we set the seven digit here, we are able actually to generate a sub file for the flipper zero. Like the spoiler alert, I'm not going to waste more time. I failed here and the reason is my TPMS sensor ID are not taken into account in any of the script here for like the Toyota model and the reason is because like the TPMS sensor really deviate from the one that are already taken into account from older and some newer model by the developer. So here let's go to the conclusion. So why it failed, I think it's clear. The TPMS sensor that I have in my model here are not handled by the script present here. So it will be up to me to continue some development or to kind of analyze the current um, capture I've made and see how I could like generate one that fits one of the different uh, sensor of my car. So I will need to dig more into this. And that's why I come here like about the lesson learned. I've really liked using the RTL SDR dongle, which is like an SDR, so a software defined radio. So it's really configured by the software you are using. And for like the capture and analyzing of protocol, I would say here it's come more handy to me where with the Flipper Zero, I really need to know which type of modulation and which kind of signal I'm looking to analyze or work with. And here it's also expand my mind thanks to the original developer of this application here to show all the TPMS sensors are kind of like really easy to, to spoof. Of course, when you are able like to work with the same um, signal or ID of the TPMS sensor. But let's say compared to a Tesla hack that is really uh, funny in one way because you open the lid of the charger port nobody's going to notice that until like let's say they pull over or park the car so they say okay my lid is open so what whereas here the driver is taking his car driving see something unexpected like flat tire or something and that's really modify his like behavior on his driving and maybe also like thinking could be worried of like what's happened you know and i feel that's really kind of dangerous here where even some cars could have let's say some protocols where okay there is a flat tire or something the speed is reduced or who knows that could also happen and for some people that are really not like keen on driving or something having this like little light blinking could be really stressful so i think this need to be more uh, taken into account for car manufacturer 
and even like the TPMS protocol itself to be more secure to avoid any of these uh, spoofing methods because it's kind of really a uh, kind of replay attack if I must say um, because here we generate the signal okay but what if you just like want to make a tire like um, let's say uh, flat or something you capture a signal and then you, you replay it and this is something I could have done actually maybe for, for next time and if this ID really interests you I definitely suggest you to check out this presentation which is like under pressure real world damage with TPMS spoofing and it was like released at the DEFCON um, Def sorry um, 2019 and it was really interesting here because the presenter show actually remediation of like um, this whole um, TPMS protocol and also other type of, uh, of attack and yeah you definitely need to check this out thank you for watching and stay tuned